moss is way more than just a tiny green thing. In fact, moss is over 450 million years old, offsets more carbon emission than all the trees in the world combined, and is an important environmental indicator. But what is moss anyway? My name is Andrea and I'm a naturalist and educator at Severson Dells Nature Center. And today I'm here to help you find out. Moss is a primitive plant, part of a group called bryophytes. Bryophytes were the first plants to colonize land millions of years ago. Now, bryophytes are different from plants like trees or flowers because they're non-vascular, meaning they don't have any vascular tissue. Now, that's a funky term, so let's break that down a bit. Most plants have specialized vascular tissues that help them move water and minerals around. Huge plants like trees rely on these tissues to move water up from the roots and sugar down from the leaves. Vascular tissues are kind of like a straw, fast, effective, and specialized. Non-vascular plants rely on passive transport or osmosis for water to slowly seep through each cell. It would be much like water creeping up this paper towel. This process works against gravity, which is why mosses need to be small to move water throughout themselves. Now that we know what mosses are, let's get to know them. I've stumbled across this patch of moss at Rockford Rotary Forest Preserve. Immediately, I noticed that it's still green even though everything else around it is brown, being that it's December and most plants are dormant. You see, moss is unbelievably hardy. With its low center of gravity, shade and drought tolerance, and freeze-resistant properties, moss can be found pretty much anywhere. Ernest Shackleton discovered 5,000-year-old moss on Elephant Island near Antarctica, and scientists have even found living moss that had been frozen for 1,500 years and emerged just fine. You won't find moss in dry habitats though. That's because moss needs water to survive and to reproduce. Moss can reproduce with spores, which are tiny precursors to seeds that rely on rain or water vapor to come into contact with other mosses. There's incredible diversity among mosses. There's over 18,000 species of moss in the world and 350 in just the state of Illinois. They range in habitat, color, shape, size, and so much more. I hope this video will inspire you to go out and meet them. Until next time, happy trails.